Go Cavs, man. Go Cavs. This is your boy Nail here today. Good fella, Nail. Nail, good fella, man. It's been a long time coming. We finally in the ship, man. Finally uh, posted something like super new up. And um, I just want to actually put together a video um, where I um, where I'm anticipating uh, my Jordan Seven, a uh, Jordan Seven release, the Bordeaux Seven. I actually couldn't even get the Bordeaux Seven when they first came out, though. Uh, you know, still living with mom and dad at the time, 2011, because they dropped February 2011. Uh, the last time they dropped before that was the actual OG release. You know, 92. And, um, yeah, man. I was weeping, man. And the funny thing about it is, it was 150 bucks back then. And, um, I had just enough for that. But, it wasn't happening, man. Bills. Anyway, now I'm out of my own, as you might know already. And, you know, now I'm just, you know, just waiting on it. The resale prices for the 2011 Bordeaux Sevens has been crazy. You know, like they probably like 2011 before the hype and all that stuff. Because the real hype came when the um, Concord Elevens came out that year, but um, they were still attainable. But you know, I was out the money and stuff, and I didn't really too much know about Jays. But this is my Jordan Seven collection video. Now, when I first started collecting Jordans. Um, I just really just wanted to just get all the OG colorways. I really didn't care about the Retro Plus colorways. Um, now, I remind you, they haven't dropped sevens almost like in like two years. So, like 2014, um, 2013, I think the last actual seven that probably dropped was uh, in um, 2012. It might have been some a little sprinkle over here. A, a seven or so uh, in 2013 or something like a special edition or something but for the most part um 2014 it was no sevens and i put it that and i had put that together like man so when seven started actually dropping again people gonna be hooked um i'm still contemplating on getting the hair sevens i believe i could get those for like less than retail somebody thirsty enough selling for like 130 150 or something like that <clears throat> i might i might pull the trigger on them because you know they was sitting around and stuff but also, too, another reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm almost done collecting the OG colorways. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think I got it right now. It's just really the OG colorways. This is my OG7 colorway video from least to greatest. And the only thing I don't have right now is the Bordeaux 7. So, yeah. Um, starting off with number one. We got the... Cart no seven. Crazy. You know what? When these drop, wasn't nobody still on um, Jay's as hard. So you can't really just write off Jordan like that. They sell out eventually. But like, this is 2011. It's the summertime. Uh, I was racing to the mall as soon as I got off work, man. I used to move. Uh, I used to move furniture and um, and appliances and stuff like that. And uh, man, as soon as I got off work, I, I like this is like after my car had broke down and everything. I was bold enough to get on the bus with these, and uh, like I didn't put them on my feet. Like get on the bus. I'm talking about like running around with the Foot Locker bag. I flipped the bag inside out and was hiding it all like by the seat in the bus <laughs> so I won't get I'm now it's daytime I'm not stupid I wouldn't do it at no damn nighttime you really get hurt yeah anybody that I don't even go into that though but yeah <laughs> I was downtown when I got these uh swooped these up the mall was just about to close for Foot Locker where I got them and uh, man, he was like, "What size you need?" This is the first seven I ever got. I'm, I've just said it real quick. Give me a size ten. This size ended up fitting lightweight like a boat on me. This one I first figured out that I I need either a nine and a half, or maybe a nine. But really, a nine and a half would really work. But or something like that in sevens. But I was just so hyped. I was like, "Oh man, 
I can't wait to get that Cardinal 7. It's 2011, you know, it's the summer and all that. I can't wait. I'm about to have some fun. Got this joint. Man. As soon as I got home, put it on feet. I kept taking this shoe out the box because, you know, the 7 is like one of my top three favorite Jordan silhouettes ever. So, you know. And, uh, of course, at the time, it was probably a little bit more white than this, but I definitely like a little bit more of the off-white because I do like the character and kicks. Man, I do keep my kicks clean. Of course, I don't clean the bottom, but Cardinal 7. I know it's not really too much. A lot of people other favorites, but maybe like a year or two after I had bought this, um, I was running around with the black laces in it as well, but I put the white lace back in because I want to see it pop this year, especially, you know. This is this is one of the things I like about kicks, man. You can like literally just go back in the archives and bring some stuff out. Like I was cracking heads with a Cardinal Seven. Not too many people really get hyped about a Cardinal Seven, but when they when they see these, they be surprised as hell. Like, oh damn, they did come out with those, or where did you get those, or something like that. So yeah, fire shoe. And uh, anybody tell you it's not fire, it's a damn lie. But usually this, out of all the Jordan Sevens, this is probably treated like. The fire red five silver tongue, you know, it's OG classic, but it's not the most hype colorway of this kick. You see what I'm saying? So, on to the next kick. This one can be a little overhyped sometimes. And uh, by the way, that Cardinal Seven was the 2011 Cardinal Seven, the uh, 06 one. Um, the fit looks a little bit more better. It looks a little bit more slim. The 2011 looks a little bit more wide on foot. Just FYI. Now this kick right here, this seven. This one. You know, with some of y'all be acting crazy. You know, I... I'm going to try to find my video footage when I had uh, tried to camp out for this. My first ever camp out, y'all. My first and last, you know, 8 in the morning release. Uh, drive, I had to drive to Minner. That's a city that's like 15 minutes to 20 minutes on the freeway away from me. Um, yeah. And the funny thing about this, I got this actually off a of restock in 2012. Um, I, it was either Finish Line or Champs. And, uh, yeah, it was like in July or something like that. Around that, because 2012 was the Olympics time, so they dropped the Jordan 6 Olympic and this one. So it was kind of like a thing like where they just was like, they didn't drop it as a pack, but they was just like commemorating that. And they dropped the, uh, those Barkley 180 joints, Olympics. That, those fire too. Still trying to get those. But, yeah, man, classic colorway classic shoe and you can't go wrong with this one but I feel like sometimes dudes be wearing like this is like kind of like overhyped a little bit sometimes but maybe that's me because I like um, the darker sevens a little bit more uh, as far as like my top top sevens but I'm gonna keep moving on so yes the Olympic 7 is that next OG colorway and keep doing my countdown. Next seven. I copped those off a of restock though. That's before people even knew what restocks was all like that. Oh, I actually got it from East Bay. I'm looking at the box right here. You see this little label right here, the EAS. Got it off of East Bay restock. This before people even knew what restocks were at the time. Um. Oh yeah. Some fresh ones I just got though. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh I've been waiting for this colorway for a long time, you know. Definitely a nice summer colorway. Once I pick this kick up, I'm like, man, I just I'm just one more uh colorway, OG colorway to my uh completion of the OG colorways, which is something I would want to do in the first place. And uh, man, the carrot top, you know, with the orange and all that stuff, and that white, that cleanness. As soon as I went out in the sun with these, whew, flames. The leather on this joint is soft too. You know, it's actually bendable, like it's flexible, like how real leather's supposed to be. 
Um, before I had cleaned, I had cleaned the new buckle in here. Um, you know, once it actually dries up officially, it kind of like, it kind of uh, goes to your finger. But the hair is not that. The hair, the hairs on this new buck is not too long. Um, some people call them this suede and stuff, but I think it's new buck. Nice synthetic leather. And I want y'all to think, obviously, I don't just got one pair of the shoe, one part of the shoe. I do got two of them. Just FYI. <clears throat> I like that green on it. It's just so 90s, man. I like that stuff. You know, you can't, you can't miss out on the OGs. I had to actually pick these up from a reseller, though. Man, it was like nothing wasn't going to stop me. So, whatever. And last but not least, one of my favorite Jordan 7s. It's like this Jordan 7 and the Bordeaux 7 like comes at a sharp tie sometimes. And sometimes they beat each other out. But this one has been beating the Bordeaux 7 out to me a little bit more than a, a you know, than any other one. So, and that is the Raptor 7. I am such a fan of this shoe. You know what? This this shoe kind of describes me in a way. Masculine, excuse me, I got a cold. <laughs> Nasal. <laughs> anyway, masculine with the black, red. I like red. Purple because it's like royal and fashionable and shit. Like, it's crazy, man. Then you got the smoke tongue, you know. This is this is that 2012 uh, pickup, and uh, I caught this off a of restock. Like uh, these came out September 1st or September 2nd. I remember because they came out in the fall, and uh, I caught these like two weeks later. And again, this is before people even knew about restocks. A month before that, it was August, and uh, the Fiery of Forest came out, and I caught those off a of restock. So, yeah. But see, now restocks is like public, you know, so you can hardly pick up any king now. So this is not the OG. Um, this is not the real, real OG of it, uh, color of it, because the real one has the purple a little bit more to toned down. And the red is a little bit more like infrared in a way, or maybe more fire red like these parts right here. On the paneling, it's actually dark gray. Like right here. This is supposed to be dark gray. Like the OG he was wearing. But that didn't stop me from getting these. I definitely like the way they made this 2012 version. In case they don't make them again. But if they drop the OG ones, I definitely get those. The one that was closest to the OG was the ones that came. I think it was the DMP pack. The Define a Moment pack. But uh, yeah, man. Crazy. So, uh... Yeah, this is like, you know, you asked me, I still look a little muddy up under here, but you asked me, man, instantly a 2012 where my grail was, I definitely would have went to this. And honestly, you know what? This still is my grail, to be honest with you. So I got a few grails. You know, some people just like the one favorite shoe of all. But I don't know. It's just like the funny thing about it is a few months ago, it was like, you know that question, oh, if you, if you had to hurry up and run, and your house is burning down, which kicks would you pick? It was probably these. If it was end times and people was eating each other or something like that, which kick would you pick after you pick your shotgun or something? It'll probably be these, and I'll probably only just be wearing these only. Rain, hail, sleet, snow. <laughs> with, a, with, a, with, a, with a DS pack in my book bag. But, yeah, man, rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail here. I cannot wait to get those Boreal 7s, even if I can't get them on... Uh, uh, release day. Hopefully I can. Um, I definitely can't wait to pick them up. However I gotta get them, man. Because I'm gonna get them. I'm just not gonna pay too much for them. But, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail. Follow me on Twitter. I will set up my Twitter account, man. I know it's kind of blank right now or whatever, but I'm definitely gonna get to that. Just been shooting videos, trying to get y'all guys some content and stuff. Posting up some of my previous stuff, you know, and all that. So, um, Y'all already know the saying too, man. Don't just stop the kicks. Rock the kicks. And let that bitch breathe. I'm out, y'all. Peace.